In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to create network diagrams. Excel is a very useful tool and it can be easily used to create the network problems for our AON networks. First, we need to create a couple graphic building blocks. We do that by going to insert and insert shape. I'm going to pick oval. I'm just going to draw any kind of oval shape down in the spreadsheet. Now, I want to make these circles, so I'm going to go up to the size here and create the dimensions, the height and the width, one inch. That will give me a perfect circle. I'm not happy with the color, so I'll hit format shape. And I can go over here and change the fill to any color of my choosing. So now we've got the node, but we need to label the node. So I'm going to go back to insert, and I'm going to insert a text box, and I'm just going to put it right here for now. I'm going to change the font to a little bit bigger, 14, and I'm going to bold it. So our first node is A, and I'm going to leave a space with a number sign for the duration. So I can make this box a little bit smaller, and then I can move it over into the middle of my node. Now, we want to remove the background of that, so I'm going to go over here and say no fill to the text box. And I also need to take off the border, so I'm going to say no line here. So now we have our node with its label and its duration. But these are two separate objects, so I need to combine those into a group. So I'll click on the text box, hold the control key, and then click on my circle. And then I'm going to go up to the drawing tools, over here to group, and create a group. Now, this is one simple, single graphic tool that I can move around anywhere on my spreadsheet. So our network diagrams have many activities. So I'm just going to copy this by going Control-C, and then I'm going to paste a few around here so I've got a few to work with. I'm going to move these around because they're groups. I can just put them like so. And if I want to change the labels, I just double click on the A and change that to B, change this one to C, change this one to D, double click and change that one to E. Similarly, I can double click on the number sign and change that to the appropriate duration. So now we've got our nodes. We need to create our start and finish blocks. So I'm going to go back to insert, shapes, and I'm going to pick a rectangle. I'm just going to draw that over here, and I'm going to change the color of that to light green. And I need to insert text in that to label it as a start box. So I go to the text box. It's already a text box, so I just click in there, go back here, and change the font back up to 14, and bold, and I'll type start. Label that. I need to change the font color of that. To black and then if I go back to the home key I can center it and center it vertically to make it look a little bit better I'm going to take that one and copy it over here and then I'm going to relabel it as finish so now I've got my start and finish and I've got all my activities the only thing I'm missing is the links between the nodes so I'm going to go back up here to Insert and pick recently used shapes. Here is Arrow, and I'm just going to draw a couple arrows down here. First, I'll make one, and I want to edit that one. It looks a little too thin, so I'm going to change the width to two points, and I'm going to change the color to black, make it stand out a little bit better. So I can select that and copy it, paste it, paste it again so that I've got several to work with. So when I'm building my network diagram, I can take this arrow and grab the handle on the end and connect it to the start box. You can see the four handles that lit up. Those are active nodes that you can connect the end of the arrow to. And then I can take the pointy end of the arrow and connect it to my activity. Similarly, there's handles on the circle that you can connect to. So I just drop that there. Now, anytime I move my activity, the arrow is going to stay connected. Or if I move the start box, it stays connected. So that's handy for organizing your network diagram. 
So I'll take this one, connect it there, connect that to D, and I'm going to need a few more arrows, so I'm just going to copy this one and paste it a few more times. So I've got some to work with, and then I'll just complete the network diagram with just a simple network diagram going across. Again, I'm just connecting the ends of the arrows to the nodes on the graphic shapes. Whoops, I missed the node there, so I'll just go back here and connect it. And then I'm going to connect that to C. And I'll connect this C to my finish. So again, it's a little rough here, but all of these are linked together, so I can move them around and arrange them into any pleasing graphic orientation that I want. And all of the network connections stay connected. So that's pretty handy, but what if we had these tools already pre-made? Well, I've made those for you, and I'm going to upload those on D2L, and that spreadsheet is going to look like this one here. So we've got all the build, graphic building blocks that you need for your problem. So how do you move that into your own spreadsheet? Well, I have a blank workbook over here called Book 2, and I'm simply going to go over to my tab and right-click, Move and Copy, I'm going to create a copy, and I'm going to connect my new workbook, Book 2, and I'm going to copy it over into this workbook. So now they're here, and I can move them around. If I need more than six activity nodes, I can just copy and paste those. If I need more lines, I can do that. But all the graphic tools are here for you to use for your problems. So I hope this is helpful. Excel is a wonderful tool in many different dimensions, and this is just another way of using graphics within Excel. Hope this helps.